If you look here, you can see that I install two tiles here, really under the door jam. And if you can look here carefully, you can see there is a gap here. If I take this piece of LVP, okay, and I put it here, you can see there is a gap, a very small gap of one eighth of an inch between these tiles and the jam, okay? Here is the same. So if you look at this video, you can see how I did it. Okay, so what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm taking this piece of LVP that is actually one eighth of an inch, I believe, height, okay, and I put it here, okay? That assure me that there is going to be a one eighth inch of a space between the tile to the jam, okay? And here, what I'm doing, I mark it, okay? The same thing here. Do the same thing here, and I mark it here. So as you can see, I really mark it from here to here. And now when I'm going to put a tile here, it's going to have, it's going to go under the jam. Okay, that is the baseboard. That is actually trim under the dim, under the jam and it will not be noticed so that's what i want to do and now what i'm going to do i'm going to use something called the remel here it is a remel i'm going to cut it it's very easy to cut let me show you how i'm doing it so this is the blade i'm using you can see here and just turn it on and start working So one piece is already gone, as you can see here. Now I have to remove really the piece of the jam. Same thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the Dremel and cut it. Here you see the second piece here. As you can see it here, there's a piece of the jam. So I can actually put now a tile here with no problem whatsoever. Okay, so I have to cut a little bit here more and that's it. So that's the piece I just remove and I can go now with no problem. So that's the way to cut under the jam. So that's the way it look. After I cut it, you can see under the door here and here. So now I can actually put, insert a tile, install a tile that will go under the jam. Okay? It is by far better to install tile under the jam. Cosmetically, it's beautiful. And also, if you don't do it, you will have to use silicone in order to cover the imperfection. So that's the way it look after I installed the tile under the door. You can see it from here and here, and you can see it's uh, probably one eighth of an inch. It's exactly one eighth of an inch gap between the tile and the door jam. And that's the way it should be, and that's the way it's looked from here.